This week on Sailing Miss Lone Star, we put the final touches on the Ford Lehman and celebrate the big erection. So for this, we're bringing in the professionals. I like your muff because I just like to say muff. <laughs> you look good. Why, thank you. You look really I good. I feel good. You? I feel good. I'm Aubrey, and last summer I bought a pirate ship. She's a 51 Formosa. And she's just about ready to be splashed. We're gonna cut a hole in the floor. Let's go. Will you bring the permanent marker? I just want to mark a better line around here. Okay. Mm. I don't want to go into the actual tea can No. Okay. That cuts pretty easy, yeah? So you're the monkey on the other side of the wrench. How do you... My arm isn't long enough. It definitely is long enough. Well, it hurts my shoulder. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna put this over the nut, right? Then you're gonna adjust it so that it's still, okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna hold my thumb on it. See my thumb's holding so it can't unwind? Yeah. And then just hold this still, and I'm gonna go up top. Bianca and I spend the morning re-bedding the deck fills. And I'm pretty proud of the final work. Mm-hmm. Cyril pulled the old water pump and installed a brand new one. Hello, Kent. Hello, people. What do you got for us? Shiny brand new perler. Looks good. <laughs> what is that? It's a gun! Don't you see it? Not plastic. It's aluminum. It's aluminum. Oh. Nice. nice. Hello. What thing? Get here. Nice. That's what gets it up off the deck. We rope Kent and our boat neighbor into helping Searle with some heavy lifting. You got it, Shirley Burley? We're going to put it right over here. Yeah. Right over here. Ready? Well, you might want to get your... The head has been pressure tested and is ready to be reinstalled. We've also had the inside of the fuel injectors replaced. Now what's left to do is install the rockers. Spanking new internals in all our injectors. What's an internal? There we go, here. Yeah. It's showing you how an injector looks. See this little plunger thing? So it pumps, 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 and then it pfft. We had our old injectors rebuilt. We labeled all these. I think you guys saw this last time, how we labeled these so they all went in the same hole. Engine assembly hour here on the Formosa slash pirate ship. You see there's this rounded end here? Mm -hmm, that's been the top of the little... Yeah, so you need to here. align that. Okay. Pull this here, we'll be a piece. Oh, I see. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to today's film girl. It's Bianca. And the camera that you are on right now is the one she's gonna be filming with. You ready for this? Donka do, donka do do. Looks like you've been up for hours. No. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. Okay, so I just woke up and um, mom told me that there was donuts. So Kent brought donuts. So I'm walking over there and I'm gonna eat all this donut. Thanks for the donuts, dude. You're welcome. It's a big exciting day. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Let freedom reign. <laughs> Let oh, the wow. show begin. Looking good. Are you an official uh, rigger? Pretty good, Jim. You just hit me in my wiener. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not very good. Charge double for that. Who's charging double for that? Which one? <laughs> All right. Okay, you, you didn't. Want me... Yeah, down below and open the hatches because we can't. I can't hear you guys. When like you... what hatches? Did Let's we come down a little bit, Tim? Well, I hope it fits through the square. Yeah, wherever you feel secure. All right. I'm gonna go through the halls right back here. We're trying to secure the mass so the crane can go away. Otherwise, he's gonna charge us $500 an hour and be here all day, and that's gonna cost you guys thousands of dollars. Glue it on top of that square black yep. thing at the bottom of the. Quickly and get out of there. There you go. In these things, these situations. Gotta undo the crane hook. I should go on the no, road. We together should go on the road. Why? As a band. As a band. What's the band gonna be called? Little Miss Sunshine. Kill me now. Kill me now. <laughs> The big moment, we're putting on the mizzen. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. What this, what bang? Putting on the mizzen, it's uh, the crane hook up top. We're so close. Let me finish my fling. He's swinging back, folks. Swinging back. Okay, standing out. Standing out. So he's going to move it towards you. And then come up and use it. As it is, he's. Oh, I did. He goes, that's going to be a little swing back. Hang on. Hold back. I cannot believe this day has finally come, and both masts are going up. Pretty soon, we're going to be in the water. Don't be worried, you're pretty little head about it. Well, I see kids do it at the fair. This is mutton busting. Please help me, anyone. <laughs> These things are like gold. How much are they a piece? Like three bucks? No, they're higher. No way. Double it. Six dollars a piece for those guys? Yes, and you're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for Cyril. <laughs> Here's the last one. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, Aww. I love that. Mm, like clinches it. Just get you going in the morning. Oh boy. Yeah. Huh? You with me? Uh-huh. Yeah. Grind. This is like how to do it? Are you looking up how to do I've it? I've got to Google the... this. <laughs> Mask cut. Well, hold on. I'll come back and try. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. I hate when hey. you work it. All right. Here we are. 
We're mm -hmm. going to put together some mechanical fittings. Okay. I'm going to give you some quick tips. I like to have your uh, turnbuckles set to a third, only a third, not a half. Okay. Because it will only stretch and grow over time and you don't want it to bottom out. So I've already got this one a little pre-set up. I'm going to spool my Staylock mechanical fitting. There's a bunch of brands on the market, but this boat came with Staylock because it's a Selden mass and that's just what they come with. So that's just what we're going to use. Now I get my magic marker, what they call in South Africa, a Koki, whatever that means. And right about here is where we're going to mark. Can all you children at home see this? Let's count together. Mark! That's it. That's good enough for who's it's for. Mm-hmm. And we're going to cut that right there. I had to check on the inner Google and find out how to do this. Uh-huh. And I called my mom and they both said the same thing. They said, read the instructions on the package. Whoa. So, here's the instructions on the package. For those of you who can't read, the good news is it's all visual. There's no language. It's German, Chinese, and Hispanic all together. And we're going to do it a little different. We're not going to use tape, but first we're going to have to cut this at our mark. Our mark. You can use a hacksaw. I prefer a grinder because it's more dangerous, and I like danger. Now, with a grinder, there is some schlag. It can heat it up, heat up the metal, and kind of bend it. So you got to be careful and make sure you file it down and kind of clean it up when you're done. Hacksaws are a much more precise way to cut. So after this two-minute tutorial, I feel like I, too, am now a rigger. You are. You are a rigger. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like earmuffs because I just like to say muff. <laughs> you look good. Why, thank you. You look really I good. I feel good. Keith? I feel good. The only last thing is particulate matter will go into your lungs and kill you. So I always wear some sort of protection. I'm big into prophylactics, you know. <laughs> this poor thing's seen lots and lots of work. Safety first, quality second. All right. What could go wrong? Now, the other thing I will say is heating up stainless steel detracts from its stainless properties. That's why with your stainless barbecue, you'll notice the areas that get hot kind of rust up. So, it's less than ideal to use a power hacker, but with this darn catch ring, there's so many wires, I'd be here for 4,000 years if I had to hacksaw every one of them. That's why I like power tools. Staylock wants you to put a little piece of tape here. I just say, who's got time for that? That's wasteful. And in this economy, we don't want to be wasteful. We want to save the environment and use our vice grips. So you're just keeping this from unspinning. Now, this is a mistake I always, I always forget to put the top piece of the stay lock on. Now put this on before you start unspinning, this top piece. Muy importante. Okay. Now, we're gonna unsply it. And you don't have to worry about this. You just go for it and just give it a big rip. Rip it open. Don't be careful. Oh, sorry. Let's get that out of the way so you can see. I just twist a manga until it starts opening up. Now look at that outer. This is one by 19 rigging. That outer coil. Ooh, it's still a little warm. Like that. It'll just kind of open up like a little circus tent. Now we put the ever-present cone in. Skinny side first. It says it's stay lock eight millimeter or five sixteenths. But I'm sure they make a sh cone of shame for those who are curious. And you want a little bit of buttress sticking out there, maybe a quarter inch or so. And the reason is you're gonna bend these back and kind of bring them back down into the fold. So here, these are still a little warm, but I like danger. So we're gonna, gloves are nice too. You get real bloody working with this stuff. I can't tell you, I bleed every day and it just makes me feel alive. So we'll twist these things back. It's like a bird cage. Isn't that fun? This is just, I love doing this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now the big dig dag trick with the stay locks, see how it's pushed my little cone back? I'm gonna have to uh, beat that guy back into submission a little bit. Come on, give us that quarter inch we were so in love with. There we go, that's all we wanted. Just a little bit. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Taparoo, just tap, 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 taparoo. Tap, 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 All right, now there's a couple ways you could fiddle fart with this, but there's, a, see how these little guys have got caught in that slot that goes all the way? Uh-huh. That's bad juju. Oh, no. Staylock doesn't want that to happen. So we'll close this up and uh, make sure that nothing like that has happened. Now I'm going to pull the cone down to just kind of hold these guys in place, and then I'm going to get my special tool, which is a little tiny baby claw. Little baby. 
cute. So cute. So cute. <laughs> Come here, little baby. And we're gonna get all these guys. You don't have to get super anal retentive about it, but it's nice to have them equidistant. We like equality here. We're kind of all about equality. Mm -hmm. What do you think? She looks super fine. Super fine. All right. And we'll watch that gap there. That guy is going to throw us asunder. Although I've never had anything fail because of that, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's not good. If the engineers say it's not good, then it's not good. We want good. Don't you want good? I want good. Satisfactory. Satisfactory. Okay. I want to keep Searle happy. Now, the other dig dag deal, Stalock wants you to do, and there's other brands that have different patented devices that don't require this, but we're not going to mention them. My favorite is the Hain High Mod. Shh, 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 don't tell anybody. It's my favorite. We're going to bend this down a little so it kind of preforms into the little cone former that's waiting for it deep down inside. Mm -hmm. Now, kids, this is where the fun starts. I'm not going to get my stay lock out chest chesty yet, so we're going to come in here. We're going to crank these bad boys down. I'm going to take this off because it'll be easier. Right, Cyril? Right. Where's that dog? This dog is Weirdo. Dog. I, I've never worked in an environment this chaotic. <laughs> I should be getting like double pay. <laughs> Laugh. All right. Back to what we were doing. Mm. So we're going to thread this bad boy up. Get yourself some nice big wrenches. We like wrenches. We can take this dude off of here. I like referring to tools as dudes. It mm -hmm. makes me feel more masculine that way. Dudettes. Okay, watch the camera. We don't want to take anybody out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to just get some nice crank crankola here. The bigger the wrench is the better. I'm all for having some leverage and really... <laughs> more <laughs> better. Giving it to these guys, showing them who the boss is. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna back it out, take a look, and see if any of our little strands got stuck in that crevasse of destruction that we didn't want. Let's see what happens. So, Let's just double check. <gasps> look at the nice shape. It conicled out. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, it's pretty good for a first good. try. Yeah, nobody's in the little crevasse, really. Now, the one thing they do want you to put in there is stay lock on the threads. All right, stay lock. Here's another pro tip. Put it in the female part and it won't splooge out. If you put it here on the male part, it'll splooge out the sides. And we want it in there, not out there. Got it? Come on, guys, get with me. All about is my gancha. Biscuit. There we go. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Well, that's good. That's about as good as you get. You want to see at least one to three threads showing. If you've cranked it so hard that there's no thread showing, you have gone too far. Yeah. There we are. We're done with our stay lock. Mm, beautiful. Okay. Put it in place and... Uh, Bob's your uncle. The moment of truth. Let's see if all our measurement, all that stuff worked. Throw it over the side. Bob's your uncle. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Woo! Oh, yeah. Look at that fancy pants. Yeah, we'll tension her down a little bit. And then when we get the forward ones on, then we can really crank down on everything. But this will be uh, good enough for, for now. We can pin everything later, but we're still tuning the mass, so. We're putting in our roller furlers and our four stays. And I'm trying to convince Kent to come sailing with us. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Which way is up, my kind sir? You've got the butter. No, you guys are almost there. We're almost there. Right there. All right, you ready for the next one? This one's much lighter. I think this is the cutter. Is this one going up first? Well, no, they both Same time. Good, that'll make it nice and easy. Okay, if you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. Hmm, look at you. So just, we're gonna hot glue this rig together. Hot mess, hot. It's gonna be great. Freedom! 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 Cyril's all about freedom! Cause he's so dirty. Mm -hmm. It's getting hitched. Getting all hitched up. Cyril, what do you think of that, huh? 
<laughs> Getting all hitched up in America. Freedom. It's all about freedom, sir. Freedom. Freedom to be yourself. That's scary. Freedom to be grumpy. Quiet if you want to be. Captain Killjoy. Which one is it? Lucky Dip? We're gonna need a wind channel fine, sir. And up goes the forestay. Whoa, whoa, watch that crow's nest, cowboy. Come on, cowboy. Crow's nest it up. You watch that crow's nest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, well, sir, you get the little crew. Okay, I'll be out of here. Okay, party's over, friends. That tree's on these mantis headlights don't last that long, eh? It's true. Um, I'm gonna change the oil filter. And it's the upside down variety, so I'm gonna try not to get it everywhere. I remember when I was a kid, my mom wouldn't let me drive until I learned how to change my own oil. <laughs> and I got under the oil filter underneath the car and unscrewed it and like all, it was just like this and just went like straight into my hair. Half of I looked like Corilla Deville, half my head was like just oil. <laughs> I was like, ah they knew it was gonna Alright. She's lubed. Looks good. Okay, Searle has this idea that he's gonna put that oil jug in there without a funnel. And I am interested to see how this goes. I'm not going to be the one pouring. Hell no. Because no, I think it's a bad idea. It's not the kind of bad idea I like. There are many bad ideas I enjoy deeply, but that is not one of them. You're not allowed to enjoy bad ideas. Okay, Searle's adding 13 quarts of oil to our engine right now and I'm videoing it. Ooh, that looks like honey. Oh, looking good. All my men have man buns. <laughs> oh, I scared you. Come here, buddy. Come to mama. Come here. Hey, you dapper gentleman. Come on, oh. So we're gonna see if these bad boys work because it'd be really nice to not have to buy any new ones right now. They look pretty new. So what we're gonna do is install, I got some dust in my throat, a, we're gonna install the battery monitor. Then we're going to cut the shore power and we're gonna see how we fare. That's the plan for today. Yeah. But I really want to go to the captain's quarters, make some popcorn, and just watch a little Breaking Bad because I've never seen it before. And Vikings is over, so. I need to find a good pirate show. One that I'm not making. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, that's what's going on right now. I've not been filming very well for YouTube. I just feel so overwhelmed with this project. There's no like linear way to film it. It's just like 30 different projects going on simultaneously, multiple people working on them, no beginning, middle, and end. It's crazy insane. So you guys have seen that demonstrated in The Daily Show, haven't you? Okay, I know I'm in your way. No, do you know where the, the hammock crimp is? I don't, literally I don't know where anything is. Somewhere in this pile over here. Or maybe that pile, or this pile. Oh, or maybe maybe that pile over there. Not very nice. <laughs> no, but seriously, do you know where it is? What crimper? What kind the, of crimper? The one that you do electrical things. Do you think you put in an electrical bag? Probably. My mom and I tried to do some organizing. Cyril vetoed us, and now he's got this little shitty menagerie behind me. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, what do you know? I put it in the electrical bag. Marked electrical. Look at me. Do you guys see that little labeling right there? And there's the thing. 